morning, everybody, and welcome to our midweek Word of Hope. As I come to you today, my wife and I and son this past week had been on vacation, and we had a great time as we uh, got away and just had some time to just, just relax and reflect and think about how God has been at work in our lives and in the church, and especially 2020, this whole year, and how with the th exciting things we launched the year with, and then the pandemic came, the virus, and how God has navigated us through that, and not only what we've been through, but even now what we're going through. And as we look at this, and we look at all the crazy things that are happening and, and going on, it's so easy in our lives to find ourselves just sort of turning within to say, how am I going to figure this out? How are we going to get through this? How are we going to do this? And as we look at it that way, we need to realize there's only one Savior. There is only one God who saves, and His name is Jesus. And as we come to this this morning, and as we look at this, as we look at our God, regardless of whether things are challenging as they are, or easy, regardless, there is only one Savior, and our God comes to us in Jesus Christ. And that's what I want to celebrate this morning as we look at our Word of Hope. In particular, in the book of Isaiah, in the Old Testament, God was referring, and it's just, and I love this, it's how the words, I am who I am, is the same words that God spoke through Moses, I am who I am, at the burning bush. And so as God reflects through the prophet Isaiah and speaks to his people, he reminds them of who he is. And I, and I love this. So. It starts in verse 43, verse 1, chapter 43. But this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I summon you by name. You are mine. And when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. And when you walk through the fire, that will not, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze for I am your God. And the word here in Hebrew doesn't have vowels. It's Yahweh. Yahweh is the name. Yahweh is who God is. I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Since you are precious to me, you're honored, and I love you. And as we look at this, as God is referring to the times of rescue, the times when he saved them from the Egyptians, they had gone into exile, and he was about to save and rescue them again from the Babylonians. So you had these two things going on. But, and it's so, jumping down to verse 16, this is what the Lord said. He who made a way through the sea, as he rescued them from the Egyptians, made a way through the Red Sea, a path through the mighty waters who drew you out of the chariots and the horses and the army and the reinforcements all together, and they laid there never to rise again, extinguished, snuffed out like a wick, rescued you from them. And then he says, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. Don't get wrapped up in the past and the former things. Verse 19 See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Can you see it? It's right before you, the new thing I am doing. I'm making a way in the desert, streams in the wasteland, like water flowing over the sand. Wild animals, and I love this, will honor me, jackals and owls because I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Creation honors him. I give them drink, and I will give drink to my people, my chosen people, the ones I have formed for myself, for they may proclaim my praise. We will be his witnesses. We will bring him honor and praise. I am doing a new thing. As we look at this, God is our rescuer, but beyond being rescued, allow God to do a new work in you. Allow him 
to show you the new work he is doing. Not just rescue, not just get me through this pandemic, not just help me out, but God, I want to see the new work you're doing here in the world and in my life. How do we seek that? How do we do that? It begins with our praise. It begins with giving God the glory for today, for our lives. Praise your God and say, Lord, show me this new thing that you're doing, and I want to be a part of it. So I will praise you. I will thank you ahead of time. That is our hope for the week. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our Savior. Through Christ, you save us, and we are rescued from sin and death. But yet, Lord, as we come, you're doing a new thing. More than rescue, you're recreating within us that new thing you're doing. Show us, teach us, lead us, guide us, and we will praise you. We will honor you every step of the way. Thank you, Lord, for you are our hope. In the name of Jesus, amen.